Hello people of the world, my name is Ristrip and welcome back Signoria, to another episode of I Assassin's Creed 2. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can. Okay. You will not get me. Entire place is at war. Doctor, is there anything you can help me with? Yes, buy some more. I've done what I could, but perhaps you should avoid the deeds that brought you here. Right. All I can do is just keep moving. Don't mind me, just. I'm busy. Okay, that's not working. I'm gonna have to climb up this way. Come on. And this is where I guess these come in handy. Bye. You there? Wait a minute. Hey. I don't guess who you're looking at. There's no one here. Yup. Yup. Easy. Super stealthy. Go, 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 go. That's so. Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto de il diavolo di porte! Stavi lontano! Yeah, I know there's a thing there. You won't get no way that easy. You are screwed, Francesco. I can clearly move faster than you. Damn it, I can't. Nah. Hey! I already beat you down. What do you say to that, dickhead? The one time the game. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's all over. The one time the game disobeys me and it works out. Thank you. 
Nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Yeah. How's that for liberty? Memory sequence four complete. Which means the game's gonna jump. I will say hi to him. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. Need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Oui. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco Di Pazzi. Seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. I hit my mic, sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed and sub. Oh, hold on, there's a thing. Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thumbs up, outro.